16-year-old Lauren Dangerfield is one of 20,000 students who depend on the Muni. I catch the bus around three to four times a day, or sometimes five, depending on where I'm going. In the last year and a half, Muni passes for youth went from 10 to 15 to 20 dollars a month. When Lauren couldn't afford the increase, she would sneak onto the back of the bus. And I didn't really like to do that, but it was kind of what I had to do to make sure I can get to school or get to work. Over a year ago, youth commissioners like Happy Yang worked to address the need. Um, so we wrote a resolution urging the San Francisco Board of Supervisors to create this half price monthly passes called Youth Lifeline for low-income young people. The Board of Supervisors approved the proposal, slashing the cost of a pass to $10 a month. But since there was no one to manage the program, the promise of a reduced fare never materialized. Now the board passed a new resolution to allow low-income students to ride for free. But since we're talking about simply printing 12,000 free passes uh, each month, April, May, and June, it's a lot easier to implement. It's really thanks to the pressure that the community has put up that we're in a position in which we're really, really, really close to getting this done. Matias Mormino works with low-income families. The Muni is the only way that they can get out of the neighborhoods in which maybe the schools are underperforming and to really get out to better schools and have an opportunity to go uh, to a, a, of a better future. If all goes well, 12,000 low-income students will be riding the Muni free starting April 1st. This is Nancy Lopez for CNS News.